I wonder how, I wonder why Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky But all that I can see It's just a yellow lemon tree And I wonder, I wonder Hi Ali Hey, I seen who? You scared me How was your PSLE science paper? It was good Any difficult questions? Well, there are some challenging questions But I'm glad I went for the Mind Stretcher PSLE Power Up in June It prepared me for it Well, you told me about that I missed the PSLE Power Up But I'm glad I went for PSLE, the last lap By Mind Stretcher It helped me a lot Wanna discuss questions? Okay! look at our first question. The diagram shows the stages of growth of fish T and fish W. Part A. Explain how the stored food helps the young of fish T. Prior knowledge required for this question would be that stored food in seeds provide nutrients for young plants, while stored food in egg yolks provide food for developing chicks. This prior knowledge helps us infer that the stored food in the young of fish T provides food for the growing fish. Let us take a look at the answer. The young of fish T does not need to move around to look for food. This reduces the chances of predators spotting it. This inference is made based on prior knowledge that the young of fish T has a sack of stored food attached to it for a period of time. Let's take a look at part B. Explain why the young of fish W has a greater advantage over the young of fish T. In this question, diagrams need to be observed very carefully. Comparison between the young of both types of fish has to be made. Let us take a look at the answer. Fish W can move faster to look for food and it is less easily spotted as it does not have a large sack of stored food attached to it. Take note that comparisons such as move faster and less easily spotted should be used in the answer. Part C Adult fish T lays eggs in a cave as shown in the diagram below. Explain how laying eggs in a cave helps the young of fish T. We need to analyse the relationship between the answer in part B and the question in part C. As the young of fish T may be easily spotted by predators, the cave provides shelter for the young of fish T. Let's look at the answer. The young of fish T cannot move fast and might be easily spotted by predators with its sack of stored food. The cave can shelter them from predators. This inference is made based on earlier knowledge that the young of fish T can be easily spotted by predators. Question 2 Part A Explain the difference between boiling and evaporation. The prior knowledge needed for this question would be the similarity and difference between the two processes. Both boiling and evaporation involves the change of state from liquid to gas. However, boiling occurs at 100 degrees Celsius, while evaporation occurs at any temperature. The focus for this question would be the difference between the two processes. Let us take a look at the answer. Boiling of water occurs at 100 degrees Celsius while evaporation of water occurs at any temperature. 
Question 2, Part B. Two boxes, R and S, were used to pack hot fried bananas as shown in the diagram below. After a while, the bananas in box R were slightly wet, while those in box S were not. Explain the observation. Observe that box R has no holes, while box S has holes. Observe that the banana in box R became slightly wet. This is because of the presence of water. The prior knowledge of water droplets found inside containers of hot food is useful in this situation. It is important that we relate the water which made the bananas in box R wet to the hot bananas as well as the absence and presence of holes on the boxes. As we are comparing the observations in both boxes, it is important to include the comparison between the observations in your explanation. Let us take a look at the answer. Warm water vapour from the bananas in box R lost heat and condensed on the cooler inner surface of the box to form water droplets. The water droplets then dripped back onto the bananas, thus making them wet. Warm water vapour in box S escaped through the holes instead of condensing on the inner surface of the box. Do note that the correct use of the keywords in the boxes are important in communicating the concept involved. Wow, I'm glad that the teachers covered almost everything in our workshop. Yes, isn't that great? Such a relief! Now that PSLE is over, what are your plans? I'll be going for the Mind Stretcher Skills Builder Workshop on the 19th and 20th of October. Me too! See you there!